CataractCoach.com, the iris got caught in the FACO probe, and I've got that iris defect, so now what do you do? We have an anonymous resident who's operating this case, doing a pretty good job. Let's look at the case here at the beginning. Nice looking capsule, Rexus, and not too dense of a nucleus, mostly looks like cortical changes, good draping, eyelashes out of the way, lid margin sequestered, a little hydro dissection being done here, and so hydro dissection, oh, the whole nucleus comes up. So now you've got the entire nucleus essentially sitting in the anterior chamber. Now luckily it's not too dense, because this is basically anterior chamber phaco. And so you're a lot closer to the endothelial cells of the cornea in this way. And looks like an attempt at a chop didn't really work too well. And hmm, still no chop. So either it's well soft, maybe the instruments aren't appropriately placed. Let's see what the resident does next. So looks like um, vacuum aspiration here. Trying to hold it. So yeah, sometimes you can't chop these that well if it's really that soft of a lens. The way I'd prefer to do it is um, aspirate like you're doing now, but try to carousel that nucleus into the probe. But keep in mind where the nucleus is. Looks like you may be a little deep with the probe at this point. This nucleus is up in the anterior chamber. You want to make sure you're not going under it like that. You see what happened? Right there. Just nailed the iris. That's not a big deal. This has happened to 100% of cataract surgeons. And if it hasn't happened to you, it's because you haven't operated enough yet. You may be on case number three. But a little aspiration inadvertently by the phago probe, or more commonly the IA probe, is relatively common in cataract surgery. So here now the resident got the idea of carouseling the nucleus in, and it comes up pretty easily. Now, a little bit of ultrasonic energy was applied to the iris, and that resulted in a loss of some pigment and a little bit of a defect there. Now, it's not terrible. It's this case, it probably doesn't need to be addressed. Now, if it was more aggressive, you may have to then place sutures to help reconstruct the pupil. But in this case, I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. And so we're going to leave that alone. But you can see there's some loss of the iris stroma there. There's a little bit of pigment loss. Yeah, if you want to be a perfectionist, once the IOL is in the eye and the capsule bag is still full of visclats and the AC is full of visclats, you can use a tannopropylene suture and put a single bite there to help bring the pupil down. Now, fortunately, in this patient with a brown iris, it's not going to be very evident across the room when someone looks at the patient's eye especially if the pupil is not perfectly round or if you have an area where you've sutured it. So there's the lens in the capsule bag. Notice how the pupils come down now. Since the beginning of the case to now, the pupil has come down. And that's very typical of the iris, right? If you irritate the iris, in this case, irritating with the phaco probe, the pupil's going to become more meiotic. The pupil comes down. So you're finishing up the case. Everything else is going to go just as planned. So the better part of judgment in this case may be just to leave it alone for now. If there's some issue, you can always come back later and do a suture there or pupiloplasty, but I'm not sure you really need to do that. I think in this case, we can be fine, just leave it alone. And that's going to be the, the situation here. More commonly is actually inadvertently grabbing the iris with the IA probe. And that's usually from, let's say, capsule polishing or... Maybe during cortex removal, you're working closer to the lens uh, capsorexis edge. Now, a suture here at the end, I like the idea of a suture. First, because it's a resident operating. And you want the resident to be able to do a very nice suture. So this is something you need to practice. And so now the suture going in very nicely. And that will be closed up and it will continue the case. And this patient will have a beautiful outcome. So definitely nice look looking case. One little blip there of the iris being caught in the probe. Don't worry, it happens to everyone. Try your best to avoid that. More common in phacos with beginners and for the advanced surgeon, more common during the IA probe. But needless to say, it's not that big of a deal and life will go on and patient will have a beautiful outcome. Thanks for watching.